Tuna, fantastic to meet you. Great to be here at the EE Rising Star nominations. And how was it for you winning back in 2013? It was just such a whirlwind. I mean, it's such an honour. And it's such an honour to be asked back here today to be announcing this incredible list of nominees for 2018. All performances that I'm blown away by and can't wait to see what they all do next. Good luck to all of them. And I think it was an amazing process for me because, you know, you get nominated by by a, a, a jury of people who, or a panel of people who are actors that you're inspired by, filmmakers that you want to work with. And it's an amazing thing to start off with. Just getting the nomination is so cool. And then that it's open for and it's the only award that's voted for by the public. And I think that's such an amazing thing because it's about you know people who love film going and watching your films and encouraging you to keep doing what you're doing. It's, really, it's a really special award, I think. And I think it can do amazing things for a young actor. It's really amazing exposure. And what did it do for your career? How have you got on since 2013? I think I've been doing okay. <laughs> um, I think uh, ultimately, you know, it is about the work and about keep putting, giving performances that are honest and, and that you're passionate about and, and that challenge you um, so that people want to keep going to see your films, hopefully. Um, but I think it really gives you encouragement to keep doing what you're doing. It's such a lovely, um, uh, yeah, encouragement to keep doing it because obviously people are giving you tipping their hat to you and saying that you're starting out in the right direction. And in particular, there seems to be a real diversity of actors and stories going up on the big screen at the moment. How do you see the industry more generally? Um, yeah, I think that, you know, again, you look at the films that these young actors have given extraordinary portrayals in, and they're really, really interesting films that leave you thinking. None of them just you walk away from being like, oh, no, no. They all really, I, I mean, for me, stuck with me. Um, and I think... That's the joy of filmmaking, isn't it? I, that you go and you see a really great film that challenges you or thought process or makes you feel things so deeply like a heartache or frightened or, yeah, kind of... I think that's that's such... Because as an actress, I also I really get a thrill out of watching films and I really find myself inspired by different actors and actresses and I, I think... Um, I think the film industry is making some really, really, really beautiful, interesting films at the moment, and it's like an exciting time. And it's a particularly interesting time, perhaps, for women in the film yeah, industry. For women, isn't it? It's, I'm so, so, so supportive of these incredibly brave women that are, you know, standing up and speaking out about their experiences and, you know, making changes for women that are so needed to be made. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, it's an amazing time to be a woman. So it seems like hopefully something good's going to come out of perhaps some of these scandals and, and also opportunities for more complex characters. These women being brave enough to speak out about it, you know, it's like amazingly brave of them to do this. And so the change going into motion is all about, you know, helping women not go through that what they're talking about they've been through because they're being brave enough to stand up and say, listen, this is what I went through and I don't want it to happen to someone else that's put an end to it. And what can you tell us about your upcoming projects? We've got two incredible films with Woody Allen and with Steven yeah, Soderbergh. I mean, again, Woody is not out here until Wonder Wheel. Yeah, I mean, getting to work with a, you know a filmmaker like that who's been inspiring people to make films for so many generations was terrifying, <laughs> um, and uh, you know, exciting, but definitely you're frightened. Um, it's because he's got such an incredible way of writing dialogue. It's very, very musical, and you so you, you know, in rehearsals. We're kind of like rehearsing a play, like choreographing a dance, and and you know you don't want to you don't want to fudge up a day on a Woody Allen set. But I had the most incredible mentor on that set, which was Kate Winslet, who has inspired me as an actress from the minute I wanted to do this. I mean, Heavenly Creatures was one of my first favorite performances of all time. I think when I was about 13 or 14. So, and then getting to work with her and have her sort of take me under her wing and really help me through that experience was amazing. Um, I love that woman. And um, and then I've got, yeah, a, a project called Unsane, which is a Steven Soderbergh film coming out, starring Claire Foy, who's another incredible tour de force of an English actress. Um, and uh, then a episode of a new TV show called Electric Dreams. So that's going to be really exciting too, because sci-fi was a challenge. <laughs> and have you got big ambitions for the future? Any particular directors you want to work with or particular... Comes from I mean, I think Luca, who directed Call Me By Your Name, is, I think, one of the most interesting filmmakers working today. And I love the way he incorporates food and nature into his filmmaking. It's almost like they're another character. Um, Quentin Tarantino, I love him. Um, Jeff Nichols, I love the way he tells stories. Uh, 
I mean, uh, yeah, I was quite overwhelming at the moment because there are so many exciting filmmakers. You know, Florida Project, I thought, was such an extraordinary film this year. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, I think I bring it on 2018. I'm excited.